you guys we are back with another video and i have finally found these little pillows that have gone viral they are these little ghost pillows you guys and they're kind of reminiscent of ones that you get from pottery barn um pottery barn usually does festive little uh, decorative pillows and so this one was really close to the one that they had and everyone was trying to get their hands on it they also had more of these hunted carnival houses um, in the last video I showed you how I spray painted them black and they look so upscale now in my house but now they have additional ones and this cute little candy store is really cute it has a little ghost and I'm just bringing you in close you can see how you would be able to see through the windows and everything they are battery operated when you press the little sample light in the store you can tell that there's a light but when you put the batteries in there the light is so much brighter so i would definitely say that these are worth the five dollars and if you customize them and spray paint them they will look like they're worth even more <laughs> so now we have this momster wine glass <laughs> and i don't know like are you a momster if you don't drink wine or are you a momster if you do drink wine i don't know <laughs> what could this mean But these are one dollar they are plastic and they have this one here that's more of that smoky plastic i was going to say glass but and then they also have this really pretty orange one that says trick-or-treat get me a drink <laughs> Next, for all of the at-home baristas out there, they have this set of paper cups. And then there's also the little, uh, what is this called? Like the little paper part that goes around it so you don't burn your hand. But it's really cute and it has skeleton hands on there. So that would be really festive for a Halloween coffee bar setup. And then they also have these wine bottle gift tags. I thought that it was only one, but um, turns out it's seven of them and here's what they all look like my favorite is get lit <laughs> they also have more of these little lanterns that i showed you in the last video but now they have this really cute one it's a friendly ghost this is totally like my style if i were going to decorate for halloween because i need things to look friendly because i'm a scary cat <laughs> So it's so cute and it lights up and the batteries are included so five bucks they also have more things for football and they have this mini foam finger it says number one and we all know who's number one when it comes to the target's dollar spot it is spot <laughs> They also have some little koozies, I think that they're called, or drink holder, or, you know, the thing that you put on the outside of the drink. I think it's a koozie. But this one says, unofficial referee. They're all $1. They also have this one that says, wins halftime. They're all double-sided, just so you know. And this one says, life of the tailgate. And then they have one more that is a football. So you guys, let me know which one are you? Like which koozie defines you? Are you the unofficial referee when you're watching the game? I think I am a uh, wins halftime. <laughs> or are you life of the tailgate? They also have more of the clear items for when you're actually going to the game. Um, and now they have this bag as well. We saw the little football last time and the clear fanny pack but now they have an actual bag and this one is three dollars next they had these cute little rakes because it is fall now i live in florida and we don't get too many falling leaves but if you live in an area that does or if you have a type of tree that leaves fall from then they have a rake for the little kids to help you out and i think they're so cute this one is a little fox and they're both $3. And then they have another one that is a raccoon. These are some cute little artist pads. This looks familiar to me. I think like where the wild things are is what it reminds me of, but I'm not really sure 
but the booklet is three dollars and it's got some really fun pages in there and then it also has like a little sticker page at the beginning of the book they also have this one as well they had some sensory tubs which i thought were really cool this one is a campsite and then they also have one that is a pumpkin patch. So that is definitely right on time for the fall. You guys, I'm super excited. Today was like the first day that I felt the coolness in the air this morning. So I cannot wait for fall to roll in. And they also have this crazy string. It is also festive. This one is glittery and this one glows in the dark. So leaving the dollar spot, I'm seeing that they also have some fun and festive things. All of the things that I'm about to show you right now are $3. So they have this cute little ghosty bodily cup <laughs> with the straw. And this one's really cute with the cat and the jack-o'-lantern. And then they also have this one with the little bats on it. Next, they had these really cute uh, utensil sets, and they're pretty small, so this seems like it would be something more for the kids, but you know, if you're a fun adult, you can use it too. <laughs> and then they have really cute plate collections as well. This one is cute. It actually reminds me of the one in the threshold line, but there's a ceramic, so they can kind of go high, low. You can get some for you and then some for your kids. I love that they have like embossing and detail in these as well, even though they're plastic. And my favorite is this ghost. I feel like I love all the cute little ghost things. And it's a pretty deep bowl also. And they also had this translucent cauldron as well, which I thought was really cute. And there are more bowls. They also have these little chargers, you guys, but this one is exactly the same. Otherwise it's just felt as the one in Threshold that was a leather version. And I believe the leather version was $5 and this one is three. So pretty close in price. And then they also have these placemats as well. And they are kind of see-through, a little opaque. I thought this one was so cute. So we have mats. I love a good mat. This one is so cute. It says, hey boo, again with the ghost. And then they also had this one with the jack-o'-lanterns and it is the same style as the little plates that I just showed you. So see how things are kind of like the same, um, they're using kind of like the same template for things. So I'm really enjoying that. And then they also had these larger doormats as well. So you can layer them and all of them are $13. Next on to the bathroom, we have these drop dead gorgeous hand towels. They are so fluffy, you guys. So definitely good for wiping your hands on, but they're really cute. So you might not want people wiping their hands on them, but if they do just know that they will be very absorbent. And see more of the print like from the bowl that we just saw with the little kids and their trick-or-treating costumes. And then they also have this bath rug and I thought this was the cutest thing. And it definitely felt really good like it would be nice under your feet. As usual Target has family pajamas. So they have this one that looks kind of like a mummy but it's got these little eyes behind it. And then they also have this pajama set with a little hoodie and the bones glow in the dark. 
They got lots of footwear as well. So we have slippers and these were the cutest little jack-o'-lantern slippers. I like that they're black instead of primarily orange. And these were my favorite. I only saw them in children's size. Oh my gosh, I wish they had them in adults. But I really, really love that they're neutral and I love the Teddy fabric. They also have these little reversible sequence slipper socks and they have these pumpkin ones as well. And they also have the grips on the bottom of them. And the ghosts on these were actually silver. It looks white from further away. And for all of the Nightmare Before Christmas fans, they had some Jack Skellington ones, as well as some really long socks. So I thought those were really cute. So my target is starting to stock the shelves with all of the hide and eek line and all of the Halloween items. So go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm gonna be bringing it to you as they put it out. So until my next one, I'm going to leave you with this little treat. Or is it a trick? Over here. Coming out of this cage. Now that's what the original trick was doing.